joint manager Sean Eard, they have to start for a 1-0 victory for Cameron Ryder. Eard, it's a great win, what's your thoughts? Mm. It's a win, and, and to be fair mate, I think that's it, we've uh, got three points, kept another clean sheet, uh, you know, which is something we alluded to um, at the start of the week, we take pride in it. I want to give massive credit to Clam Ryder, I don't want to deflect, um, I don't want to deflect anything from, from their efforts today. I've had a chat with Robbo, the, uh, their gaffer at the start, and um, they, were, they were really bare bones, um, in fairness, but sometimes the, the games like that can go that way. Um, you know, we've had chances to increase the scoreline, of course we have, but uh, you know, the longer the game goes on at 1-0, it gives them a sniff. Um, and obviously Peel at the end, you know, for me, uh, the best keeper in the league um, has, pulled off, has pulled off that save and he, he saved us, uh, you know, the three points really, to be honest. So, yeah, we maybe let ourselves down a little bit. Um, maybe not first half and maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half, but we just stopped doing what we were doing really, in fairness, and, and let ourselves down maybe in the final third with a couple of decisions. and. It's always edgy, um, you know, a couple of free kicks there that they're winning, they're chucking everyone forward. But yeah, three points at the end of the day and uh, yeah, we can go into uh, the Christmas period now in second place. So you said, you mentioned that we let ourselves down. Do you believe we let ourselves down by not making it a bigger scoreline and not creating chances enough? I say the scoreline, mate, to be fair, if you're looking at the chances in the game where we've, um, we've opened them up and Evo's chosen to pass instead of shot, which I don't really know why after he scored that Hattie. Willow's gone through one and one and somehow put it over. We've had uh, John Bennett's header from a corner. Uh, we've had good opportunities where we've got, you know, into the box and it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of pinball where maybe the the right decision, it's you know, it's a tap in for somebody. You know, that's that's what we did for the goal. You know, we we um, we anticipated that they may may, uh, may may have made a mistake, which they did. And then as was in the right place at the right time to score. Um, and yeah, you know, I think looking back, we've had. We had a number of chances really, I think Crossy at the end of the first half was one as well, but as I said mate, you know, the longer it stays 1-0, uh, it always gives the, oppo uh, it always gives the um, uh, opposition uh, a glimmer and a sniff and uh, yeah, you know, like I said, Peel's pulled off a brilliant save there to keep the scoreline at 1-0. Uh, final question, uh, obviously the January transfer window is coming up and a bit of a fan question, will we see any new faces coming into the squad? We've identified some targets, yeah, we've identified some targets. Um, you know, we obviously have, uh, you know, we, we asked Ashley to stay at home today. Uh, you know, we've got Morgan uh, to come back from suspension. It was Evo's first game back after a busy, um, you know, after a busy week in work. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, if you look at the bench, you know, Dino, um, Dino Cav obviously wasn't here today. Danny Brookwell, you know, they started regularly. Max, um, you know, Max needs to be, uh, well, not needs to be, he's always knocking on the door. Max, to be fair, his attitude is brilliant. Um, so we have options, but yeah, I think, one or two fresh faces maybe like I said we've identified a couple of individuals with maybe next season uh, in mind as well um, so we'll keep you posted maybe ask me in a couple of weeks time bro cheers Ed. cheers mate nice one